Okay, hard luck Charlie here. Today I'm going to uh, show you guys how to get the most money for your eBay items. In one word, clean. Clean them. Clean your eBay items before you sell them. The most common mistake sellers make uh, and what limits them from getting the most money they can is five to ten minutes of cleaning. Okay, most common uh, household tools can be uh, can be uh, utilized in cleaning your eBay items. I sell a lot of electronics, so I need to clean a lot of these areas, uh, knobs, uh, uh, speakers, little recesses, and if these are dirty, they will show up in, in the photographs uh, that you take and post. So if you want your stuff to look good and get the most money for it, uh, you've got to get do a little bit of detail and it doesn't take very long. For instance, just a simple toothbrush and you can clean a lot of this out, a lot of it. Just simple toothbrush, simple materials that you have it uh, laying around the house. A paintbrush works great to get the main to get main dust off the top of things. Just a soft paintbrush. Smaller brush, these work really good on circuit boards. I'll show you that in a minute. Again, toothbrushes, simple little solder brush. Uh, these work great for getting into, into tight spots. This is a head, uh, head cleaning swab for VCRs. That's a whole nother video, but these swabs work really great for getting into certain spots. Down to this regular old Q-tip. These are just little dusters, and these work great on circuit boards too. Okay, for cleaning uh, solutions, I like to use uh, Simple Green. I also like to use Goo Gone. Works great on uh, on sticky stuff, as well as Zippo Lighter Fluid. If you don't have any label remover, uh, this is the best stuff you can get. It's cheap and readily available. And then the last but not least, good old tap water. Just get a spray bottle and put tap water in it, and uh, you'd be amazed at what a great job water does. Okay. Well, let's get started. I'll give you some examples, and then we'll wrap this up. Okay, back to the old brush again. Just a simple, nice, soft paint brush. Best duster around. Okay, we're going to get this sticker off. Uh, best way to get these off, especially if they're dried on, is just a little bit of the Zippo lighter fluid. Sinks right into the labels, into the uh, price labels, and uh, softens it up. Just let it sit for a minute. Another thing that you might want to do is just take a little bit of Goo Gone and go over the top of this uh, uh, lighter fluid. That helps keep it down on there so it doesn't evaporate and dry out either so fast. So just a tiny bit of Goo Gone and, and then let that thing sit for a couple of minutes. I guess this one's just about ready to come up. So. Rather than leaving a lot of, yeah, see, then you can just take a little bit on a paper towel, a little bit of a lighter fluid on a paper towel, and wipe over that, and it comes right off. Now, moving on to the inside, to the circuit board, uh, I always show how clean the machines are on the inside as well as the outside, and buyers like to see that so if you've got a machine and you want to get top dollar for it it better not look like this on the inside because uh, your buyers want to see it again take a soft brush uh, 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 and, and, a, and a source of air either a vacuum or a, com or a compressed air works great to blow these out usually blow them out first we're not going to do that right here but trust me a vacuum a uh, vacuum cleaner or, uh, or or a compressed air works great. And to help get that up, you can just dab a dab a brush in here, and you can see how that 
takes that off that circuit board. It's just better for the for the uh, for the machine itself. Um, dust is not a friend to electronics. So you get these all cleaned up and take a picture of it, and the buyer knows that they're getting a clean machine. So that's another thing. Back on the back here on the back panel, we'll go back to the toothbrush. These spots like this are very unattractive in a photograph. And again, you, all it takes is just, see, just a couple of minutes on cleaning a machine, and instead of getting uh, $30 for it, you can get $60 for it. And trust me, I do it all the time. That's how I pay my bills. So, it only takes a little bit more time. And if you don't have a lot of products to sell, if you're just starting out and you only have a few products, it's well worth your time to just do just a little bit of cleaning. It, it doesn't take a lot of effort. You can see how much better this looks already. Anyhow, as you can see, it's a few brushes and a few cleaning solutions, and uh, and you'll be making more money. That's how you get the most money for your items on eBay. Thanks for watching.